Weird mannerisms of people who have survived trauma. 1. Constantly scanning their surroundings. One of the most common mannerisms of trauma survivors is a heightened awareness of their environment. They may seem to be on high alert, looking around frequently, or positioning themselves in ways that give them a full view of the room. This hypervigilance is a leftover response from times when being aware of potential threats was essential to their safety. To others, this can appear as paranoia or excessive caution. But for trauma survivors, it's a coping mechanism that makes them feel more in control of their surroundings and prepared for anything unexpected. 2. Difficulty maintaining eye contact. Trauma survivors, especially those who have experienced abuse or betrayal, often struggle with direct eye contact. Eye contact can feel overly intense or exposing, making them feel vulnerable. They may look away frequently, avoid holding a gaze, or even wear sunglasses indoors as a way to shield themselves. This behavior isn't about being rude or uninterested. It's a way of protecting themselves from feeling too seen or exposed, which can trigger discomfort or memories of past trauma. 3. A tendency to laugh or smile during serious or uncomfortable situations. One of the more surprising responses to trauma is a habit of laughing or smiling inappropriately during serious or tense moments. This reaction is often rooted in an unconscious effort to deflect tension or mask feelings of discomfort, fear, or sadness. Trauma survivors might have learned to use humor as a shield, downplaying their pain or distress by lightening the mood. To outsiders, it can seem confusing or strange, but it's often a way of coping with feelings that are too overwhelming to confront directly. 4. Fidgeting or self-soothing gestures. People who have been through trauma often develop habits that help them self-soothe, especially in moments of stress or discomfort. This might include fidgeting with jewelry, rubbing their arms, or tapping their fingers. These repetitive, rhythmic actions help to calm their nervous system, offering comfort when anxiety creeps in. These gestures might seem minor, but they serve as grounding techniques that help trauma survivors feel more present and in control, especially during overwhelming situations. 5. Frequently apologizing, even when it's unnecessary. Many trauma survivors, especially those who have endured emotional abuse, can develop a habit of over-apologizing. They may apologize for things that aren't their fault or for simply taking up space. This stems from past experiences where they were made to feel at fault or were conditioned to avoid conflict by taking the blame. While it can come across as insecurity, this habit is often a trauma response, an effort to stay safe and avoid triggering negative reactions from others by assuming responsibility, even when it isn't warranted. 6. Avoiding touch or physical closeness. Trauma survivors often have a complicated relationship with physical touch, particularly if their trauma involved personal boundaries being violated. They may flinch, pull away, or seem uncomfortable with hugs, handshakes, or any close physical contact. For them, Physical distance creates a sense of safety and control over their personal space. This avoidance of touch isn't about being cold or unfriendly. It's a way of establishing boundaries that help them feel secure, especially if physical closeness brings up painful memories. 7. Speaking in a quiet or controlled tone. Many trauma survivors, especially those who've experienced situations where they were silenced or belittled, tend to speak softly or in a controlled, careful tone. They may have learned to minimize their presence or avoid drawing attention to themselves, often out of fear of judgment or criticism. 